a little bit about paint. Paint is a raster graphics program. Start, type P-A-I-N-T, and enter. While this may appear to be a circle, as we zoom in, you will notice it really is a series of dots on the canvas that resemble a circle when viewed from a distance. Let's explore some tools. On the Home tab, notice the Cut, Copy, and Paste area. Then we have Selection Tools. I'll use the Select All tool and then click the Delete key on the keyboard to clear the canvas. Notice the Undo or Redo buttons on the quick access bar at the top left. The pencil tool is used to create hard, thin lines. If we create an enclosed area, we can use the fill with color or paint bucket tool to quickly add color. Let me erase the entire work and start again. Notice the different brush options. We have different brush textures, edges, and shapes. We can also set line thickness. I will use undo. I can also select different tools, such as a straight line. On many graphics programs, if you hold the shift key, you can force a vertical, horizontal, or 45-degree angle. This is a great way to create a small background image for a web page that would tile across the web page to fill it with diagonal lines. You can also draw other shapes. You can also set the pen or brush color. First left click to select the box, then select the desired color. This is called the foreground color. You can also left click and set the background color. Let's start making something like a basketball. Notice I reset back to black and white. While you can click the drag handles to resize, it may be better to click on the file menu and choose properties. A pixel is a glowing dot of light on your computer screen. Usually there are between 72 and 96 dots per inch. This is the resolution of the image. I'll set mine just about two inches on most computers at 144 by 144 pixels. Now I'll hold the shift key and draw a circle. I will fill the bowl with orange. I will fill the exterior with light blue. Making sure my foreground color is back to black, I will add my lines. To use the curve line tool, 
first draw to set the endpoints. Then drag the middle to set the curve. Important, click another tool to lock in the curve. You could then save the image. The default for a paint bitmap or raster image is 24-bit BMP. We will learn about color depth shortly. Here is a quick demo of some neat fill options. Finally, you must understand one or two things more about rasters. I've drawn a circle. Now I'm going to draw a box. I select the box. And move it. You'll notice that I cannot move the shape. I am moving colors and the foreground and background color determine what remains. If you type text, it starts as an editable word. But once you move on to another tool, the text is rasterized into pixels on the canvas and cannot be edited. We will shortly begin to use tools that allow us to deal with shapes that stay shapes and create different layers so we can move individual items around an image.